Okay, this is just the answers to the practice quiz for D1. So the first question was um, using special triangles because it asks you for the exact value. So the first question said sine of 315 degrees. Whoops. Um, so if you're going to plot that on your grid, your initial arm is here at 0 degrees. Then you have 90, 180, 270, and back to 360. So an angle of 315, since our angles always go in a counterclockwise direction, would be in quadrant 4. So that would be 315 degrees. And if we make a right angle triangle, then our related angle would be 45 degrees. So now you know you have the 45, 45, 90 triangle. So we can label our sides 1, negative 1, root 2. So the exact value of 315 degrees, because sine is y over r, would be negative 1 over root 2. And that makes sense according to our CAS rule. Because according to our CAS rule, cosine is the only positive ratio in quadrant 4, so that makes sense. If you're um, rationalizing the denominator, then you would get root 2 over 2 because you multiplied the top and bottom by root 2. So yeah, those are either answer is totally acceptable. So that's how you do the whole first row. So I'm not going to go through every single one because they're all done the same way, just figuring out which quadrant they're in and what angle it would be and which special triangle. Okay, question two was um, a point. So the point was negative 5, 12. And it was on the terminal arm of an angle in standard position. So if we wanted to draw it, so you got 0, 90 degrees, 180, 270, 360. So if you're going to draw the um, point negative 5, 12, it's going to be in quadrant 2, right? Because it's negative x value, positive y value. It's going to be up here somewhere. So that's the terminal arm. So our principal angle is this one. But we'll draw our related triangles. So it's our related angle. So negative 5 is our x value, 12 is our y value, and in order to find the hypotenuse, r, we could just do the Pythagorean theorem. So negative 5 squared plus 12 squared. And then we'll get 25 plus 144, which is 169. And then we have to square root it to get r. So r would be 13. So now we know that the hypotenuse is 13. So it asks us to write our primary and reciprocal trig ratios. So our primary trig ratios are sine theta equals y over r, so 12 over 13. Cos theta equals x over r, so negative 5 over 13. And tan theta equals y over x, which is 12 over negative 5. And then your reciprocal ratios are just your cosecant, secant, and cotangent for all of our angles and they're just the reciprocals so that's going to be 13 over 12, 13 over negative 5, and then negative 5 over 12 for our reciprocal ratios. Okay next question if we wanted to find the principal angle I would pick one of these ratios, it's no matter which one, but say you picked this ratio then theta to find an angle you can do the inverse sine arc sine 12 over 13 and on your calculator that would give you a value of 67 degrees which clearly is not theta because it's way too small so theta should be something between 90 and 180 so now we know 67 is actually our related angle and theta is going to have to be 180, so that's actually a related angle, minus 67, which is 113 degrees. So our principal angle is 113 degrees. Okay, question three. Sine theta is equal to 9 over 13. So it wants you to find two values for theta. 
So right off the bat, I know already that if we look at our cast rule, what the cast rule tells us is that cosine is the only positive ratio here. All are positive here. Sine is positive here and tan is positive here. So that means since this ratio, this guy right here is positive, it's not negative, it's positive, then I know that um, theta is either going to be, well, it could be in quadrant one or two. So to find it, I would just find it like I find any other angle and do the inverse sine of nine over 13, which turns out to be 44 degrees which just tells me that that's in this quadrant right here. This is 44 degrees. And if sine is opposite over hypotenuse, I know my triangle would look like that. But we could also have a triangle in quadrant two. So now I just have to draw the same exact triangle, like nine and 13, and it would have the same related angle, 44 degrees. But in this case, I'm trying to find the principal angle here. So I just do 180 minus 44 which equals 136. So now I know that theta could be 44 or 136 degrees. Those are my two possible angles between zero and 360 degrees. That's all that's possible because sine, the sine ratio would be negative down in quadrant three and four. So it would be like negative nine over 13. Um, and there's like an infinite number of answers here, but between zero and 360 degrees, there's only two answers. So that's why I restrict your domain. Okay, question four is a sine law question. Just gotta look at it. 37. Okay, so most of you draw it like this, where you have 37 degrees. Sorry, I just gotta look at it one more time. 10, Okay, I'm gonna have to go. I hear a crying kid. Okay, to be continued.